This is uh, this is perhaps definitely becoming my favorite part of the show right here, right now. Before we go back to the bucket, we have uh, a third regular, of course, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, every single week since his start 11 weeks ago um, on this show, uh, he's absolutely blown our minds. It's extremely exciting to watch a brand new minute every single week from the comedy stylings of... Uh, the one and only Michael Lehrer, everybody. Here we go. Here we go. I'm not sick. The devil just slowed down my speech so none of you peasants miss a word. Hey, Les ain't shit. It's mostly your friends and family who suffer, and I love that. <laughs> I don't even consider myself disabled. Round of applause. Clap for me. Round of applause. Clap for your hero. I'm a hero. Clap for me. I consider myself retarded. Cover you retarded hero. Cover you retard king. I am the retard king. And for all you saying this is an act, shame, shame, shame. This is not an act. This is an exaggeration. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> One of my favorite things is that serious face he does right before he starts laughing on the show every week. Uh, Michael, are you okay? Um, I'm just excited Joe Berg's mom's here. Oh, yeah? Why is that? What, what, are, you, what, what are you guys going to do? You gonna... No, I like everybody. Oh, I thought you guys were going to... I thought you guys were gonna have like a wheelchair race or something like that. Perhaps we could push I you. Know, man. Can, can we'll we, can see, we? but I guarantee I'll flatline it to get pink slip. <laughs> I, th I think this is a good idea. I think too fast, too curious. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what would happen. I say we. I say we push them both down the top of La Cienega after the show and see. Yeah. Let's see which one lands on Melrose first. Yeah, you know about velocity when it comes to loop. <laughs> what? Say that you again. Know, <laughs> you know about velocity when it comes to lubricants. Whoa. Lufacans? Lubricants. Lubricants, Lubricants, yes. All right, let me change my... <laughs> <laughs> David Deary gave me a crossbow. <laughs> uh, fuck this, man. A crossbow. You gotta be kidding me. Thank you. <laughs> oh, there you go. Chroma Chris oh tangling it up even more. <laughs> what an evil trick. Yeah. <laughs> Looking like Alf over here. There you go. So Michael Lair, uh, very exciting stuff. Another killer minute. Is, uh, now, fun fact that I found out before the show is that Dan Soder was here 11 weeks ago, the first ever time or 12 weeks ago, whenever it 12 was. 12 weeks ago, and yep. you didn't invite me here one week. Yep. What happened? You fucking took over, dude. You made a goddamn position for yourself weekly on this show that yeah. people undeniably yeah. love. Yeah. Yeah, when I... And next week, I'll make sure you can all understand me. <laughs> why do you think it... Why, what's, the, what's the problem this week? The fucking crossbow. <laughs> Fucking David Dreary, man. <laughs> David <He's> Dreary. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Uh, so uh, what do you guys think of uh, Michael Lair's performance tonight? Dude, I'll fuck it. It's weird. He's almost done like a full heel turn. I like where he's, where he's at as a character on stage. Yeah, it really is. It's really something for Clap a guy. Clap for your retarded hero might yeah. be one of the hardest Tony. I've laughed. Yeah. It really is a heel turn. He said that he speaks slower so that these peasants can understand him. Yeah. 
Well, Tony, and he looks like I'm... an alt-right blogger. Yeah, he does. <laughs> what? I'm still in my no, Hold on, no. talking to the microphone. I'm still in my interview, but Joel has something he no. really wants to No, Joel, give the microphone back to Michael Lair. <laughs> this got we- weirder than I ever thought it would get. All right, back yeah, to you. How'd you end up with the microphone? Give it to Michael Lair. One, two, four. I'm uh, I'm in a bad mood, all right? I got in parking lot road rage before I came here. The dude's probably in here, and I put my whole body out the window, and I'm like, hey, man, any problem here? I'm like, oh, you look cute. I was so mad, I was ready to find him. And then he was paying for a party, and I rolled up my chair real fast. So I'm like, hey, man, things are cool, man. Things are cool. Wow. Jesus, this was all over a handicap spot? No, there's never any left, because one... A fucking open micer who's in this room probably has a fake handicap player. Whoa, is this true? Is oh. there Whoa, anyone? We gotta find scandal. Out. Yeah. Is there anyone that wants to fess up to this? Is there a comedian here with a handicap? I know who you are, motherfucker. Do you really? Oh, shit. Yeah. Come who clean, you hey. fucking dirtbag. Hey, and look. I don't believe in discrimination or stereotyping, but this comic is really fulfilling our meaning and stereotypes. Weird to make it racial at the end there, Michael. (laughs) What, Dan? You wanna fuck with me now? (laughs) No way, man. Whoa. Not Not the way you're dressed like a startup CEO. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I love you on billions. I love you. <laughs> Michael, you've won me back over. My goodness. Do you really know who the comedian is? Yeah. What do they look like? They look like an Armenian. All right. Here oh. we go. Here we go. All right. Well, that narrows it down. Can you spin that spotlight over there towards the, com- towards the comedians? <laughs> Let's see what we got over here. Whoa. What is it? Oh, no. What are we going to do with all these gold necklaces? Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Stop it right there. What's that uh, guy in the white sweatshirt there uh, with the yeah. dots? What if this, is that is that him, Michael? I'm looking at a dead man. Oh! Holy shit, sir. I can't believe that this Armenian parks his Maserati with a handicap placard in the one spot. My goodness gracious. Well, Wrong dude. Wrong guy. <laughs> Wait, that Wrong wasn't him? Guy. Michael, let me ask you something. What would you do if you were able to get your hands on that guy? What would be your uh, attack method? What would be you, your... Uh, you know, since I've gotten sick, I want to kill everybody. <laughs> so, fair, fair. Um, but um, I wrote uh, a Chicago smile. Chicago Smile? Yeah, are you familiar? No, yeah, tell me. No, I, I don't know. I learned that... about it from American History X, an earlier reference in the show. <laughs> Wait, you, you're gonna you're gonna put the guy? Is that a curb stomp? Yeah. And what do you do? You put their you put their mouth on the curb and then you roll over it with your wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> what a great! I don't know. Have you ever done that to anyone before? I feel like that would hurt you more than it hurts them, actually. I feel like you'd probably... Oh, I can promise you <laughs> that I feel no more pain. <laughs> Yo, Fun. Dom Irera, this is your first time seeing the comedy stylings of Michael Lair. Uh, he's got uh, over... 20 years of Chicago improv training, Second City Black Belt over here. Recently, uh, a couple years ago, diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease and has been doing stand-up comedy for only five or six months, six months. Let's say, look at the... June 25th, I entered Helium Buffalo's Funniest Person Contest. Wow. Have you ever done the Bay Area Black Comedian Contest? Yeah. 
Yeah, the bu- the babka. The the they'll bust a handicap in your ass. They will. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what? Oh, because it's both a black and a handicap joke. We have to make a noise because we don't know what to do. Ah, oh. Tony, Tony, you know what though? Like I like festivals like that that celebrate diversity because I left Second City just another Jewish devil. And now look at me, I'm Hollywood's face of diversity. It's true. It's absolutely true. Absolutely true. Uh, I didn't get I didn't get to check in with Dom Iray. This is your first time seeing Michael Lair, correct? I was in a Seinfeld episode, and I was also in the movie uh, Raging Bull. And uh, no, it's amazing. I, I, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's a very awkward thing. It's incredible. God bless him for his courage and all, but it's you know. I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I appreciate it. That, that was your intro. I was doing your intro. <laughs> yeah, I'm Daniel Day-Lewis. <laughs> My love food. <laughs> All right. Uh, no. Yo, I can't imagine. Sorry, you, Michael, no. I'm trying to think of you at full speed. You'd be a problem. Dude, <laughs> dude, There's a reason I God slowed you down. Hey. You, hey, hey this guy. John. This guy's yeah. a wild child. Oh, yeah, dude, I was the biggest cunt at Second City. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, yeah, for sure. Do you believe that? Do you really think that in some weird way, do you feel like this is, there's sort of like a karmic energy that happened no, to you? I'm oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you just said you were the biggest cunt at Second City. Um, I'm humbled by disease, <laughs> you fucking moron. <laughs> He simply just doesn't get any better than that. Michael, why don't you stay on stage? We're going to keep it rolling here. No shit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the great Michael Lair, everybody. Make some noise for Michael Lair, everyone. The doctor said it's six months. I'll be a brain in the jar that fucks. <laughs> oh, I, hey, Les, he's been around for 150 years, and the only medicine they have is sitting. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, I have painful muscle cramps all day. If this is what pussy cramps feel like, then every woman should be president. Uh, Dating is hard. Your girlfriend can leave you. Mike can leave me in the desert. Mike can leave me at a jack in box in the valley. Wow. Wow. The grip. <laughs> that stone cold look in his eye, the great Michael Lair, everybody. My life is a nightmare. <laughs> What's going on? Why is it a nightmare? I'm melting, you fucking idiot. <laughs> My cells are dissolving. What's the matter? Oh, you know, I messed up a cake tonight. I'm dying! <laughs> I love it, man. I absolutely love it. One of the funniest running jokes. I can't wait until episode 500 when he gets up and starts doing jumping jacks and it's like, fuck you. I'm famous. Yeah. Yeah. He's committed to this bit. Yeah, he really, really is. He's like, fuck, yeah, man. fuck that ice bucket challenge. I'll yeah. just do it for a year. Make everyone think I have it. Yeah. No doubt. <laughs> 
Yeah, man, it's the only way for my white ass to get a job anymore. <laughs> Is white? Is to do what? Pretend I be a <laughs> I love it. What's been going on in life, Michael? You do anything cool since uh, last week or anything like that? What's been yeah, um, yeah um, I'm a secretly a superhero named Manuel. Yeah? I can operate any machine simply by reading its owner's manual. Wow, that's an interesting one. I thought you were like the leader of the X-Men or something like that, but... No. Hey, can I say something? Absolutely. When I did the Ice House, Brian Redman said, how's your MLS? I don't have Major League Soccer. <laughs> you thought I'm it was MLS? Oh, no, I'm a sports guy. Pardon? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I'm not sponsored by Herbalife. <laughs> Did I really say MLS? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I've been, been sitting on that for like <laughs> two months. <laughs> wow. And I sent a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What is, where did I lose you, Tony? <laughs> it was actually the second word. I literally didn't hear it. Oh, um, I said a lot. Oh, you said a lot, yes. yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I fucking sucks. Get so boring sitting all the time. Yeah. I love you. I always wondered what the, uh, what the rest of Forrest Gump was like, and now I'm figuring it yeah. out each week. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man, How Jenny is so fucking hot, though. <laughs> how's, uh, how's your son? Your son moved out here with you. He's 21 years old. Everything good there? Yeah, he gave up dairy and Reese's Puffs oh. and, and Fruity Pebbles. He's becoming a real Hollywood sword boy. <laughs> What do you like to eat for breakfast? What's your breakfast? I don't like to eat. I just drink coffee and smoke weed and tan. And then I just want to look hot as fuck for Emmy Monday. Yeah, no, that's true. It works out well. <laughs> Woo! So what do you do? Like, what do you do? You just eat lunch and dinner? Uh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Two meals and four wheels. That's what's going on. Yeah. No doubt. I'm meals on wheels. <laughs> what else is shaking? Anything else crazy in life? Everything else is good? Um, I'm wearing two watches. Oh. Why? Yeah. I'm, I'm like, spoils. <laughs> you know, I'm celebrating on my success. <laughs> Fuck yeah. One Fuck yeah. doesn't work. Right. It's more of a bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. You also don't have two hands that work properly. No. Uh, Look. That's it's a as watch good chip. as it gets. Yeah, there's something to get sad about me. No, I don't think so. Are you guys sad about Michael? You guys well, this love is, Michael? This is LA. They forgot you're here. <laughs> All right. They're horrible people. All right, guys. Next week, I'll shove the microphone back up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And there's a little touch of red band there at the end there. A little bit of the always classic. Um, how about uh, one more time, good and loud, for Michael Lehrer, everybody. Uh, this young man uh, just started stand-up uh, actually only about, I think, six or seven months ago. However, he had improv training out of Chicago for decades. And a couple years ago, got diagnosed with ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. And he's here for us now. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the great, the powerful, Michael Lehrer, everyone. Here we go. Yeah, Raw Door Done Mud is back, baby. Man, I'm super excited about my assistant suicide. My wish is to be suffocated 
my the world's finest pussy. I lost, I lost dexterity in my hands. I can't put a condom on now. At least that's what I tell guys in the park. Hey, hey, I'm an old-fashioned guy who just wants a partner who I can fuck their tits while sucking on their dick. I look, I'm gonna lose the ability to talk soon, but I'll be able to speak with a keyboard in my eyes. But I'm worried I'll look at the N-word. Wow. Wow. He did it again. Ladies and gentlemen. Did he just drop the mic on the N-word? He did. He did. Whoa, he's swinging the bicycle chain. We finally know what that looks like. (laughs) Look out for that. Heck yeah. Raw Dog Michael Lair over here. Raw Dog Dynamite. <laughs> That's the name of my comedy special. I'm trying to get them to release on Pornhub. Fuck yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, fuck Netflix. Fuck Hulu. No, that- I'm putting my so, shit so, on a So when he got his first hour deal, they was like, uh, we usually give hour deals, but... Yeah, give him two hours. <laughs> that was just the doctor. Man, if black guys weren't hard to understand when they're in front of you, they're impossible to understand when you're standing behind them. You got me, son? Yo, what the fuck is wrong with this show, man? Yo, I'm not fucking with the nah, 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 nigga. Y'all not gonna make me go out to the nah, nah, dude. Fuck that, Lucas is enough, nigga. Y'all gonna knock me my comments. Timberish, look at me, motherfucker. Let me see your lips move. I need to see you. Nigga, I'm about to kick your wheelchair. Yeah, oh, your mommy. I'll be like, just fuck out of here, yo. Yo. Yo, I got Not the wheelchair, the nigga. Up. Not the day god. I'm not getting beat by the wheelchair, nigga. I just be the big gorilla, nigga. I ain't letting the wheelchair, nigga, take me out today. Get the fuck out of here. Wrap it up, bro. I just be King Kong. I'll then take they bring out motherfucking me. Reeves, nigga. Man. They're like... Yeah, they put out... They brought out Superman to get Reeves on me, nigga. <laughs> they're laughing because <laughs> they're scared of <laughs> you. Why is everybody fucking with me? What did you tell these motherfuckers, Tony? Nothing, man. They you just... told them something, motherfucker. No. Be man. real with me, motherfucker. He ain't got to what tell did you me tell shit. I'm dying, bitch. I'm the most dangerous motherfucker you'll ever see. It's true. He's dying. He, he has an incurable, untreatable disease. I know, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> when you introduced him to me, he was like, this guy, he's got, I was like, nigga, he got tough. <laughs> I don't know which one is what, nigga. <laughs> yo, first off, yo, ain't no cut card on this show. You say what the fuck you want to say. He was funny, but I'm not going to let the wheelchair nigga beat me. <laughs> fuck that shit, man. nigga. I close some curtains, nigga. I'm yo, fighting to my man. advantage, nigga. <laughs> what kind of I know. Ah! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Michael. No, interrupt in the building, bitch. I'm trying not to interrupt. 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 Go. Respect. (laughs) 
Yo, we had some real niggas today. <laughs> Woo. Michael Lair is going to be at Skankfest in uh, Houston, Texas with us. He's got the bicycle chain. I don't think you're going to be allowed to travel with that. Um, I'm not allowed to do a lot of shit I do. <laughs> Wow. What a fucking absolute legend you are. A goddamn icon. And I fucking love you, Michael Lair. Anything else you want to talk about before you go tonight? Yeah, MichaelLairComedy.com and hit up Pornhub and Tom. I should be their first comedy special because yep. yep. disabilities and porno go together like peanut butter and jelly. That's right. Absolutely. I agree 100%. Michael Lair Comedy on social media. MichaelLairComedy.com. That's Michael Lair. Everybody loves him. Make some noise for the one, the only, the powerful Michael Lair, everyone. <laughs> I love being in a wheelchair because it put me at a sideline with a woman's ass. I spend all day talking to lady butts. They don't mind. They see my suffering. They know it's community service. If you have ALS, they have a long closet if you can't afford um, things like a wheelchair equipment, which means I sit on a dead man's squatty potty. <laughs> My hero is Magic Johnson. He beat ALS, so can I. The worst part about not being able to walk is now all my sneakers are just heavy socks. <laughs> wow. Can you keep that spotlight on him, Danny? Uh, wow. Michael. What the fuck is happening with the lights? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Everything's good. We got you covered. Whoa, a little breath. Is that Lysol? Oh, my goodness. Banaka. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. That's so much. I just special order it. <laughs> Why? Is there, isn't every order of yours a special order? Yeah, it is. Special delivery, <laughs> meals on wheels. <laughs> hey, yeah. who had those human resources for Kill Tony? Uh, well, I, that, I think that actually pretty much falls on me. I have a complaint. Go right ahead. I'd like to file a complaint against David Lucas. <laughs> oh, shit. Go right ahead. What's your complaint? I... First off, he probably roasts me in the shadows. He calls me Wheels and Speedy. And then on his podcast, he makes me sound more retarded than I am. Oh. And he implies that because I speak slower, I don't have to do as many jokes. And I will fuck with any of you. Alright? Wow. So, let's go, dog boy. I'll be a huckleberry. As but fuck it. We ain't doing this in the shadows. We're doing it in front of 100,000 people live. And we're doing it in front of all your. You want to talk shit? Let's go, motherfucker! Well, I will respond to that right now. Uh, as the head of human resources at Kill Tony, uh, I will say that, first of all, 
uh, when it comes to every, it being in the shadows, everything David Lucas does is in the shadows. Uh, massive, giant, dark shadows. I'll cross that one off my list of burns for him. Okay, very good. And when it comes to you being his huckleberry, I must warn you, he eats every berry that he sees. Uh, he's got a real yeah, sweet tooth. Yeah, like Steve Jobs, he's going to get cancer with his pancreatitis. <laughs> there you go. That's a, that's a low blow, literally what and metaphorically. Um <laughs> But as the head of human resources, I will uh, I will respond by saying that you know this is a case, David. Uh, this is a case, Michael, of him being jealous of you, and the reason why he's jealous, I think we all know, is because you don't have to walk. Yeah, isn't that crazy? It angers him walking. Yeah, it hurts his ankles. I know. Yeah, it's so ironic. I can't walk, and then someone who can is so much fatter than me. Yeah. No. It's really weird. How do you wrap your head around that exactly. one? Exactly. <laughs> My question is, how does David Lucas wrap his belt around that? You mm. know what I mean? Oh, my Tony, we're all family. Yeah. But I brought this attention to human resources because uh-huh. I won't be played. I won't be disrespected. Goddamn right. People try me all the time. Yeah. I ain't the one. I'm out in these streets. Yeah. Um, Hopefully on the sidewalk. Hopefully on the sidewalk. My name. Yes, absolutely, Michael. I agree 100%. I will not allow you to be disrespected. Uh, You are my little baby gorilla, one would say. Uh, I absolutely love you. You are my favorite human being. It absolutely blew my mind that uh, you made it down to La Jolla while... You know, being having obviously being restricted and uh, having old Brandon here uh, help us all out. I know your name's Brett. I'm fucking up your name on purpose now because you got so look. Offended. You know what makes me even more of a hero? It took me 14 hours to get to Lord in my chair. <laughs> it's true. He took La Cienega the entire way to San Diego. Uh, regional joke. Yeah. It is only a, for a part of the audience. Right. Only for the Southern California people. It worked both episodes, yeah. too. Yeah, man. Uh-huh. I love it, Michael. You had fun. You had your first California burrito Fuck last night. yeah, man. God I it. don't care about food. Right. Um, I like weed and pussy and beer. That's right. There you go. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> So fuck a burrito. <laughs> well, you you, you 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 literally could fuck a burrito if you wanted to. Yeah, I am, man. Times get tough. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, what else is going on in life? Anything else crazy we need to know about before moving um, on? Just blowing up and enjoying the ride. You're goddamn fucking yeah, right, you are. No doubt, Absolutely. Man. Yeah, and it, and it's gonna check be- um, people on um, michaellaircomedy.com. You'll see a link to my merch. It's been so incredible to see people wearing my shit and pictures. It helps me out a lot. I love you all so much. Absolutely. Man. Absolutely. I encourage everyone that loves this show and Michael Lair yes. to go to that website, get some merch. Support Michael Lair, man, so he has, uh, can buy some more beer, right? Yeah, they're a little pricey here. Yeah, <laughs> no shit. Yeah, well, you tend to uh, drink a bit. Um, enjoying the ride is right, Michael Lair, and uh, it's going to be a long ride, so keep that battery charged on that wheelchair. No doubt. Hey, and I think they're sold out, but it's pretty definite I'll be in Ventura. Oh, I love it. Coming yeah. to Ventura. How's that for a little announcement? To- Always, man. Did I say it wrong? No, it's great. You're absolutely right. All right. Two shows Thursday night. Catch Michael Lair there. All right, cool one. There he goes, Michael Laird. They see me rolling, they hate it, patrolling and trying to kiss me right and dirty, 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 trying to kiss me right and dirty. My music's so loud, I'm swinging. They hold me down, 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 they
Trying to kiss me right and dirty. Trying to kiss me right and dirty.